Hi, I'm Jay with Harris Garage. I'm here with Job Spetter. We're at EIC and we're going to dyno the engine that's going to go in his brother's 69 Camaro. This is a LS engine, would you call it? Kinda. It started as an LS. It's 450 cubic inches. It has a essentially a Ford cylinder head. It is a Ford cylinder head that they moved the bore spacing out so it bolts to an LS, small block Chevy, which is 4400. So a small block Ford is 4380. That's a 4400 block. So when they made the heads, they just kind of spread everything out just a bit. And not only that, they switched where the intake and exhaust valves are. So if you look at this, it's laid out like a Ford rather than an LS. So it's it's both. It, it, yeah. uh, Kinsler stacked injection, dual dry-by-wire, Motec, uh, ECU, daily dry sump oiling, got a Jones drive on the front. The engine should make north of 900 horsepower here on the dyno. Uh, there's speculation anywhere from 900 to 1050. Uh, pretty exotic piece. And uh, what's cooler about this is Job has a RY45 that's going to go in his 66 Mustang. So two pretty old school American muscle cars with two fairly exotic naturally aspirated engines. And we're going to make some noise. All right. While Gabby and his team are a full service custom engine racing shop, the real specialty is in airflow work. So if you're looking for development work to get an engine to make more power at a higher RPM, EIC could easily be your guy. They're kind of one of those behind the scenes teams that you don't hear a lot about, but behind almost any fast program in our space or other spaces are guys like EIC, repurposing and reshaping cylinder heads for better airflow.
So the dyno work is finished. The engine made over 900 horsepower from 7,600 to 8,700 where we stopped running it with a peak of 927 or 929 horsepower. So a uh, pretty impressive engine. Um, everything worked well, really well. The stacks are going to offer good drivability down low because there's not this big cross plenum of chatter. So the noise that you hear in the exhaust system of a camshaft you know, the boobity, boobity, boobity. That's happening in the intake too, which makes them drive bad down low, but this thing's gonna drive nice down low and we'll have good power management because we can just control the throttle angle with the MoTeC. So, uh, not bad for a Chevy engine? Not bad for a Chevy engine. Uh, I think it did really well. I think you nailed it with the stacks. Um, we'll be able to give him power by gear, by vehicle speed. So no matter what, he, uh, he'll have a real hard time crashing his car. Which is a legitimate <laughs> concern because yeah, it made almost 670 pound-feet of torque or so. It made a yeah. bunch of torque, so this thing's going to be really rowdy on the street. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. So this used to be a supercharged vehicle, and um, just looking for a different sound, different personality. The sounds that come out of the stacks, oh, yeah. super impressive. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can uh, look for this engine once it lands in the car. It's a really impressive vehicle, and we'll do some uh, maybe some TC data with it. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.